you know, to me, it's it's a problem well defined is half solved. So you know, you, you've you've done the response quick response, you create an accurate assessment, and then you start to set expectations of what all the steps are. When you're doing that, when you're walking people through that, what are you really helping them with? Because you already know what you need to do for the job. Why do you take the time to explain it step by step to other people before it actually happens? Well, it's a very important uh, conversation uh, to prepare them what to expect. Um, they, they know we have a flood of damage, it's the damage, what, what's next? How long is it going to take? How much is it going to cost? Um, what is going to be when you guys finish with the remediation? Uh, what is the step after that? Are you guys going to put it together? Or are you guys do the repairs? And all those questions. And um, in, in the moments when people, in saying hurting, which they are seeing the basement and you know, looking like a swimming pool. It's it's not it's not a joke. It's not funny, um, and and you need to tell them, look, this is what is the, the next step. You have to remove the the standing water, but also we will have to cut the drywall that's affected. We have to remove the materials that affected uh, your personal things. Unfortunately, probably are ruined. So there will be we will save everything we can, but most of it is probably ruined already and. Um, just to, to tell them on the end of the day, this is how we like to approach. On the end of the day, this place is going to look better than it looks than looked before it happened. You're going to get to choose new flooring. You're going to get to choose new colors. So most of the people on the end of the conversation are like, you know what? I was thinking about remodeling my basement for a while now, so maybe this is a good time to do it. 